say goodbye to messy notes. We are gonna cover both handwritten and text-based note-taking apps for this one. My name is Prithviraj and here are 6 of my favorite note-taking apps for 2024. I tried out good notes for Android but it's still incomplete and I won't really recommend that for a smooth experience. I really hope GoodNotes takes us Android users more seriously now. But as of today, if you're looking something similar to GoodNotes, then check out NoteWise. The layout of this app is very similar to that of GoodNotes. Everything is laid out in front of you on the top bar. You will be able to organize your notes into different notebooks. And also you can import the PDFs of your books and insert photos in this app. Earlier, I was using the Xiaomi Pad 6. Over there, the writing experience was a bit sluggish using NoteWise. But I had a different experience using my Samsung Galaxy Tab. S9 FE Plus. It simply felt more natural. I don't really know if it's because of my S Pen or not, but it does feel a lot smoother over here. The writing experience was very responsive and I didn't face any issues whatsoever using this app. I'm definitely gonna recommend this one if you're looking for an alternative to good notes for Android. Milanote. This one is actually a great app for visual brainstorming. Milanote is very easy to use, even for beginners. It has a very minimal UI and this is something I really appreciate. Simplicity is often the best trait to have in a note-taking app. I personally like the way I was able to access my notes. There's one feature about this app that I really love and have been using this myself a lot. It has this view where you can compare multiple notes side by side and I really like that. If you had to compare between different notes, you'll be able to get a very clearer idea this way. I generally use this while researching for my videos. I am able to compare my scripts this way. Super useful. You can organize your notes quite nicely in this app and accessing your notes kind of feels like a game to be honest and I really found that interesting. You can use it to create mind maps, mood boards and storyboards. I generally create a section called quick notes in every note taking app that I use. I was very happy to find out that it has a dedicated section called quick notes by default. The free version of Milanote has very limited features to be honest. You can create only up to 100 boards. The area where Milanote excels the most is its visual representation. It can be really easy to get a clearer idea of your notes and that also helps in keeping things organized. Highly recommend this one for more of a visual note taking experience. I didn't really know about this app unless I came across a comment in one of my videos. JNotes. I really like the interface of JNotes. It's really sleek and intuitive. And I'm gonna be honest here. It again looks very similar to good notes. The quick toggles on the right side is something that I found similar in many note taking apps. This is actually a good thing as no matter which app you're gonna use, you're gonna have a more or less similar interface in all the apps. There is no free version of this app unfortunately. You have a 30 day trial but you have to get the subscription after that. There is a slight latency where the writing experience is concerned. If you look closely, you'll clearly be able to see that. But this can actually turn out to be in your favor. If you prefer a more calm and slow writing experience so that you can like focus more on your handwriting, then this might be very useful for you. But in case you prefer writing really fast then this will be more like a hindrance for you so you should keep that in mind this app actually offers a lot of options you can even change the pressure sensitivity of your pen you can even add audio recordings in JNotes in a previous video of mine I remember someone commented about the audio recording feature not being there if that's something you want then yeah you can do that on JNotes you can again add photos and sticker in this app but one thing I really liked is that it has a to-do list segment built inside this app so if you wanted an all-in-one app then this app can actually be beneficial in that aspect and also if you're enjoying this video so far then I'd really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button and i'll keep bringing you more videos on productivity tech and life Notion. It's one of the most popular note-taking apps out there. Notion provides a modular block-based system. You can create and customize your pages as per your liking in this app. You can add different cover photos in every note of yours. This can be a great tool for storing your necessary information. It's really powerful in that aspect. We can nest pages and also interlink different pages together. It is highly customizable as I previously mentioned. There are various third-party widgets and extensions that you can add in Notion. That way you'll be able to make your homepage look more aesthetic. Notion's database feature is actually a very powerful tool for organizing and managing your data. You can also use databases to track your finance or track the progress of your project with your team. I used to track the progress of my videos and used to manage other aspects of my YouTube channel on Notion itself. I previously created a dedicated video on uh, Notion where I shared tips on how you can speed up your workflow. I'll be leaving its link in the description below the like button. You can quick search your page contents quite easily and you can simply share a page in Notion. However, Notion can be really slow at times. The loading time is kind of high and you need an internet connection to access your notes. The phone app feels even slower to be honest. But other than that, it's simply a very powerful app and it's widely used in professional workspaces. Nebo. This has been one of my favorite note-taking apps for Android. I really like the writing experience on this app. It feels really fast and smooth. My S Pen just glides on this app. So if you're someone who writes really fast and want a smooth writing experience, then this is the app for you. This is again a paid app, so you should keep that in mind. The UI is very minimal and you have everything laid out right in front of you. You have to take minimal steps to start creating your notes and that's a great thing. One of the biggest selling points of Nebo 
is that you are able to convert your handwritten notes into text in case there's something you might be needing. Simply select your text and there will be an option to convert it. That's really a super useful addition to be honest. You are able to import your PDFs and photos and customize your page layout and stuff as you might already expect that. I highly recommend this app if you're looking for a smooth writing experience. Alright, this app came in as a surprise for me to be honest. The reason why I kept this app at the last is because it's a device centric app, Samsung Notes. I know you only have access to this app if you're using a Samsung tablet, but I must say it's such a great app. This app is like the perfect blend in between the two note taking worlds. It handles both type based and handwritten notes quite nicely. As you know, Apple Notes is one of the biggest rival of Samsung Notes. Apple Notes only handles type based notes well and you can really organize them nicely there. But the handwritten notes aren't really a thing for Apple Notes. There's, the feel is just not there to be honest. Handwritten notes aren't something Apple Notes is good at. Like I didn't really enjoy the writing experience on Apple Notes. It really felt slow and stuttery. But here on Samsung Notes, I have a much more superior experience. Samsung have created a very powerful note taking app. It basically covers everything you need to organize and create your notes. Since it's a Samsung only app, it's basically free and you never have to pay for any subscription or any even app purchases. The writing experience is again very nice on this app. You can also convert your handwritten notes into text right using this app. But if I compare it with Nebo, Nebo kind of had a better conversion accuracy compared to Samsung Notes. But as we all know, everything can never be perfect in one app. And the biggest limitation of Samsung Notes is that it's Samsung Notes. You will never be able to access it if you have a Xiaomi tab or a OnePlus tab for example. Just like note taking apps are really important if you're a student. On top of that, there are many other apps that can help you transform your life. Click here to check out the list of the apps that changed my life forever. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you there. Somebody just help me. I wanna erase this fear.